Good morning, everybody. How are you today? It is Wednesday, the 24th of February. Had to double check the month there. Uh, so that means it's Wobble Wednesday. My name is Karen. I'm here with Get Moving. And Get Moving is all about helping people with mobility issues, mobility problems, limited mobility to get some exercise. So like I said, it is Wobble Wednesday. So we're going to practice balance. So um, Get Moving exercises are suitable for pretty much everybody, uh, whether you are seated or whether you're standing or whatever. But just for Wobble Wednesdays, because we're going to work on balance, it is going to be a little bit more geared towards people who are standing who, who, or who can stand. Um, bear with me one sec. I've got something clattering over here. Let's see if I can shut that up. Fingers crossed. Um, so, yes. So for today only, I'll be concentrating a little bit more on people who are standing to help them work on their balance. If you are seated, though, don't worry. What you are going to need, though, is your resistance band if you are seated. OK, so I'll give you alternative exercises to do, <clears throat> but they will involve a resistance band. So if you are seated, you've got about 30 seconds now to go dash, get your resistance band ready for the exercise that we're going to be doing. OK, <clears throat> but before I go on, I just want to say a quick um, a shout out, really. You all know Sarah, one of my fingers of fire in the comments down there. Uh, fast, super fast fingers of fire. Um, she is going to do, actually, she's going to do two challenges throughout March to help raise money for Stroke Association and the Royal Marsden Cancer, Cancer Charity. Um, and so I'm just going to pimp this out for her now. I want to let you and everybody know that uh, you can uh, donate money to her challenges if you like. Um, of course, you would like to do that. I am sure you are. You will do that, and we will link some links to it in the Get Moving Facebook group. Somehow, I'm not entirely sure how we do that, but we all do that. So, in the Facebook group, we will give you links and everything to Sarah's uh, challenges. Um, she's shown me the challenges, and they are going to be tough. <laughs> she's going to have to work hard to do these. So, um, please, I, uh, I thoroughly recommend everyone. Um, chuck a buck her away because she's doing it for great causes and she is going to have to work damn hard to do these things. Um, so yeah, that's Sarah, fingers of fire, working like a demon through March. We'll let you all know all the details as soon as I figure out how to share links and stuff. Anyway, so if you have got your resistance band by now, I'm going to show you now very quickly the exercises to do if you are seated. If you cannot stand, if you cannot do the balance exercises, the resistance band exercises, we're going to do two versions of it, a left and a right. And we've done them before, the bows and arrows. Okay, so these exercises are if you are seated. And I want you to sit nice and tall. Pretend you are Robin Hood and you're going to draw and fire a bow. You're going to hold on to your resistance band. Hold on to an imaginary bow out there. Hold on to the imaginary string of that imaginary bow there. And then you're going to draw the bow back across your chest, hold it for a sec, and then relax. Depending on how long this band is, will make it easier or harder. So if you hold it way back here, there's a long stretch, it's going to be relatively easy. If you hold it down here somewhere, so it's a relatively small stretch, that small distance, it is going to be a lot tougher to pull. And draw that bow so you decide how easy or how hard it's going to be <clears throat> excuse me so seen from the side what i don't want you to do is to be all slouchy and all uh, pulley there i want you to sit tall hold it in line with your body and draw across your chest okay that's what i'm after not slouching and not in front there and just sort of pulling the arms apart i want you to draw across the chest okay and as you just noticed i think we'll do on one side and we'll also do on the other side i will let you know when to swap but we're going to swap sides so we can get a good chance of doing both sides but i will let you know when to swap okay just listen to me and i'll let you know what's going on but that is our bows and arrows if you are seated now if you are standing the balance exercise we're going to do again we've done it before is tapping in a clockwork fashion so because we're going to be challenging our balance 
safety's reasons, if you are uneasy about your balance, please stand next to a wall or table or chair that you can sort of just touch against in case, just in case, okay? Don't want anyone falling. Falling is bad, but wobbling is good. So with that health and safety tip out of the way, uh, if you're standing, we're gonna get one foot and just tap forwards at 12 o'clock and back. And then out to the side at nine o'clock and back. And then behind us at six o'clock and back. So we're balancing on one leg for as much as we can, but we're moving the other leg out to the various directions, front, side, back. But balancing on the other leg throughout. Okay. Uh, a small movement will be a lot easier. A big reach of that foot, a big reach of the tap there will make it harder. Again, we'll do on both sides. I will let you know which side we're going to do, okay? So just follow along best we can. <clears throat> Excuse me. So hopefully you know what we're going to be doing. If you are standing, we'll be doing those taps. If you are seated, you're going to be doing, you're going to be playing bows and arrows, okay? But first of all, an exercise for everyone to do. We can all do this seated or standing, marching on the spot. That's how we're going to start every time. If you're seated, sit tall. You're going to march on the spot like so to get your legs up and down like so. If you're standing, same idea, but standing, just marching on the spot like so. Okay, we're going to do it for 20 seconds. Got my timer set here. That's it. 20 seconds of marching on the spot. Are you ready to go? In three, two, one, off we go. Just marching on the spot. Nice and simple to start off with. Small movements are easier, bigger movements are harder. I want you to do the biggest version that you can do. Now again, we're all different. Some of us will be able to do bigger moves. Some of us have to do smaller moves, whatever, as long as we're doing the best version that we can do, okay? So that's time, that's 20 seconds. So now, what do we got? Right side first, okay? So if we're seated, right arm out, and drawing back, okay? Right side first, if we're seated. And if we're standing, we're gonna use our right leg to tap in front, the side and behind, okay? So the right leg is moving. Are you ready? In three, two, one, off we go. So we're gonna tap, balancing on the other leg, tap, Balancing on the other leg, tap, balancing on the other leg. So all this, all the while, we're nice and stable, balancing on this leg here. Moving our body weight around. There we go. Time, time, time. So that is as simple as that. Not necessarily easy, but simple, I hope. And we're going to be moving those exercises around all through the session, okay? Whether we're seated or whether we're standing, we're going to move them around. Our next exercise, shoulder rolls. Again, this is suitable for everybody, seated or standing. Everybody can do this. Roll the shoulders back, or if we can, roll the arms back. 20 seconds worth. In three, two, one. Off we go. Shoulders come up, back and down, if you can. Arms come up, back and down. The bigger the move, the better. That's the general gist of it all. Again, we're all different. Some of us will be able to move better than others, bigger than others, as long as you're doing the best that you can. Time, time, time. So now we're on to the next bit. So if we're seated, again, grab your resistance band. It's going to be left arm now. Left arm, okay? Left side there, if we're seated. If we're standing, left leg. Nope, sorry. Left leg is doing the moving, okay? The left side. Tapping, in three, two, one, off we go. Left side, tap in front, tap the side, and tap behind. Now notice how my body is moving as I'm doing these taps. My body is not staying still. I'm not staying still and my leg is just doing little movements like that. My 
body is really moving, exaggerating to do these moves, okay? Time, time, time. Again, a big move is what we're after. So next one, everybody, seated or standing, everybody, knee bends. If we're seated, kicking the feet out like so, bending and straightening the knees. Nice big movements out of the knee joints. If we're standing, kicking the heels back towards the bum. Again, knee joints, moving them. 20 seconds in three, two, one, off we go. Bending and straightening the knees, whether we're seated or standing, we're just getting as much movement from the joints as we can. If we're standing, notice again how my balance, my center of balance is shifting from side to side. That's how I'm going to set myself up to balance on that supporting leg. I shift over, I set myself up and balance on that supporting leg again. Okay? Time, time, time. What have we got next? So after the knee bends, it's the right hand side. So if we're seated, grab the band. Right hand side, drawing that bow. Feel your shoulder blades pinching behind you, okay? Right hand side. If we're standing, guess what? Your right hand side as well. Again, move the body, move the leg. In three, two, one, off we go. Reach. The right leg is reaching, and the right leg is reaching. Now again, you hopefully, if you're balanced a bit iffy, you're going to be standing next to a wall or table. It's there just in case. It's your safety net. If anything goes wrong, by all means, hold on to that wall or table. But otherwise, we are doing everything we can to balance on that one leg. There we go. Next one, twists, twisty series. So don't forget, twisty series, she's doing a couple of very, very tough challenges through March. So if you want to check her a buck, all the details will be via the uh, Facebook group. Okay. Um, anyway, a quick pimp over and done with. If we're seated or standing, it's the same thing. Fold your arms, twisting one way, twisting the other way. Moving the spine, okay? 20 seconds in three, two, one, off we go. Big twist and a big twist. Again, we're getting as much movement out of the spine as we can, especially if we are seated for a long time. The back, the spine, it can get a little bit stiff, a little bit uh, sore, a bit seized up. We're giving it chances, giving it excuses to move. Time, time, time. Excellent. Uh, just the left hand side. So if you're seated, left hand side, okay? Again, big drawing of that bow. We want to feel the shoulder blades and the shoulders at the back there. Working hard to draw that bow with the left side. If we're standing, left leg in three, two, one, off we go. Tap, reach far and tap reach far behind you and tap. Now, of course, you may or may not be able to do as big a move as me. That's not important. Don't compare yourself to me or to anybody else. Just do the biggest move that you can do. Reach as much as you can and you're going great. There we go. Nicely done. What's next? Double taps. So if you're seated, as always, sit tall. The knee comes up twice. One, two. And same on the other side. One, two. Whatever you do, if you're seated, when that knee comes up, do not collapse back there. Anyone can do that. We're not anyone. We're going to be better than anyone. We're going to be staying nice and tall, sitting away from the backrest, staying tall as that knee comes up twice. Do not collapse back on that backrest. If we're standing, again, a good balance one, this is stand close to a wall if you need to. We're going to stabilize on that one side. One knee comes up, one, two, and then it goes down. One, two, and then it goes down. Are you ready? In three, two, one, go, go, go. So again, notice how my body weight is shifting over onto the supporting leg before I lift my foot up. Both feet on the floor, I shift over, and then I do a double tap. That's setting up, vital to make this thing work. It'll be much harder to do if we don't do that setup first, where we shift the weight over first, okay? Time, time, time. Uh, double tap. Side bends. Oh, no, sorry, I tell a lie. Getting ahead of myself. Right-hand side. 
So if you're seated, grab your band, right hand side, drawing that bow, and then relaxing. If we're standing, tapping with the right leg, forward side, backwards. Three, two, one, off we go. Again, notice how my body shifts. The setup again, I set my body up to let my leg move. My leg goes forward, I've got to counterbalance by leaning back a little bit. If my leg goes one way, I've got to counterbalance by leaning the other way a little bit. So they're working against each other, they cancel each other out, and that keeps my central gravity over this supporting foot. Time. Um, 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 now it's side bends, bendianas. Okay. Seated or standing, same thing. Nice and tall. One arm goes down one side and then the other. If you can, make as big a move as you can. If you can, you reach up over the top as you go. As big a move as you can. In three, two, one, off you go. Definitely one arm down, and same on the other side. And if you can, you reach up over the top. A nice big movement, stretching all the way. Getting a lot, big stretch on the side there and moving your spine. Again, as always, we're keeping it mobile. We're, we're not giving it a chance to get stiff and seize up. Time, time, time. And what's next? Left-hand side. If we're seated, band left side, drawing that bow. Okay. Again, a okay. bigger move as you can do. If we're standing, left leg does the work in three two, one, off we go. So again, look at me from the side. I am leaning to let that foot go forward. I'm leaning and I'm leaning to get that foot moving. As one leg goes one way, my body goes the other way to counterbalance. That's how I'm going to keep my central gravity over my supporting foot. Don't try and stay still and just use a leg. It's not going to work. We have to move our body around, okay? That's the key to balance, moving. Okay. Uh, 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 squats and sit stands. If you are seated, leg work now. As always, remember, tuck your feet back underneath you. Tilt your body weight forward to get some heavy feet. A light bum, heavy feet. And then you stand tall, fully all the way, bums in, chest up, nice and tall. And then under control, you sit back and you sit down and you repeat that as often as you can for 20 seconds it might be once it might be 50 times i don't know you do whatever you can do if you are not seated if you have no chair have an imaginary chair there you squat down and then stand up whatever you can do for 20 seconds in three two one off we go sitting back and down onto that imaginary chair see how i really am sitting my bum back and down I'm tilting myself forward. My knees are pushing out as I'm going up and down using the leg muscles as much as I can. And time, time, time. And so after squat, that's gonna be right-hand side. So if you're seated, grab your band, draw in that bow, right-hand side. If I'm standing, right leg moving. In three, two, one, go. So again, it's as big a movement as a leg as possible. Don't let the body stay still and do a small leg movement. It is a big leg movement, which means a big body movement to counterbalance and, court and um, cancel it out. A nice big movement is what we're after, okay? And time. Tightrope walking and ankles now. So, as I think of, I was right there, I was. If you are seated, getting your ankles moving, okay? So bending and straightening your ankles. Heel, touch the floor, and then toes. Heels, toes, heels, toes. Halfway through, I'm going to swap around. Make sure you do both sides, okay? Heel, toe, heel, toe. If we are standing, tightrope walking now, okay? So I'm going to start way back here. If you want, do it along a wall, or along the back of a sofa, or along the side of a table, something like that. They're all good way, um, places to do this one. I want to imagine a line on the floor, a tightrope on the floor, and we're going to walk along that tightrope, heel-toe. So with me, 
off we go. Heel toe, heel toe. So we all know balancing on a tightrope is difficult. It is challenging for the balance. It is hard work. <clears throat> we can wobble when we're on a tightrope. Excuse me. <clears throat> so this is an imaginary tightrope, and I want you to deliberately put yourself under pressure and try and balance all the way. Same thing now, going backwards. Toes, heels, toes, heels. Again, we are balancing on that imaginary tightrope. It's going to be difficult for your balance, but that's why we're doing it. That's exactly why we're doing it, because it is difficult. If it was easy, it would be no good. Difficult makes us good. And we know for a fact the second time is always better than the first, so forwards again. Off we go. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Again, it's Wobble Wednesday for a reason, because when we're balancing, we should be wobbling. We should be adjusting. We should be twitching and, and moving and always correcting and maintaining uh, our balance. And that's what the wobble in Wobble Wednesday is all about. Now, the last time, going backwards. Toes, heels, toes, heels. You know, we get our balance through movement, not trying to be still. Don't think of balance as being still, because it's not. It's a common misconception, but it's wrong. It is a misconception. Balance comes through movement. Or, put another way, through wobbling. And there we go. Everyone out of room again. So there we go. So after the tie-up, we've got the left-hand side. So if we're seated, got your band. Again, drawing that bow back and recover. Left-hand side. So if I'm standing, left leg does the work. In three, two, one, off we go. Tapping, stretching, reaching, and again, balancing on this supporting leg. Again, notice I'm balancing because I am always moving. I move my body, I move my leg. My ankle down here, the one that's on the floor, that ankle is moving all the time. It's twitching, it's turning, it's bending, it's flexing. It is always moving to try and keep me balanced. Nicely done. Um, 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 fast feet. Okay, we're nearly there. Okay, let me change my timer. 10 seconds worth of fast feet. Now again, keeping our balance is about knowing where our central gravity is, being able to move that. It's about being strong enough that we can shift our body weight around. And it's also about being fast enough to move our feet, move our legs, to be able to catch ourselves if we're falling. So speed is vital when it comes to balance. If you're seated, fast feet is all about running on the spot. Up and down like that. It's only a small move, but it's got to be a fast move. The faster, the better. Okay? So that's if you're seated. If you're standing, same thing. Fast feet. Running on the spot, but nice and quick, okay? 10 seconds. We're going to do two rounds of 10 seconds. In three, two, one, off we go. Quick, small foot movements. We're practicing how to move our feet quickly so that if we lose our balance, we can, there we go, we can very quickly correct it and stabilize ourselves, okay? It's all about speed. That was round one. Now it's round two. Same thing, but better. In three, two, one, off we go. Nice, quick footwork. Move him up and down. Now again, as quick as you can do. Doesn't matter whether you're quicker or slower than me. It does not matter. Don't compare yourself to me or to anybody else. Do the quickest that you can do. And let me change my timer again. Back up to 20 seconds. Right hand side. If you're seated, grab your band. Draw that bow. Nice big movement. Right hand side. For standing, right leg. Three, two, one. Off we go. Tapping, tapping. Tapping. And again, I'm moving and maintaining and regaining, catching my balance. Every single time I'm stopping myself from falling over by moving and correcting time. Okay, last one shadow boxing. 
out of breath time. If you are seated, stay seated, but get your fists up and you're gonna shadow box. You can punch high, you can punch low, you can punch up or down, whatever, but we're gonna get out of breath by shadow boxing. It is pure out of breath stuff this is. Nothing more, nice and simple. If we're standing, same idea, shadow boxing, but I want you to think about your footwork. We're gonna practice moving forwards and moving backwards with our footwork, okay? So, 20 seconds worth. In three, two, one, off we go. So punching away, but if we're standing, I want you to practice shuffling forwards and then shuffling back. Keep punching if you can, but the footwork is gonna be your priority. Get confident in moving forwards and moving backwards. And time, time, time. That's round one done. Time now for round two. Now this time if we're standing, I want you to think about sidestepping one way, sidestepping the other way. Again, it's all about footwork, okay? If you're seated, just punch hard, fast, and get out of breath. Round two, in three, two, one, off we go. So again, if we're standing, side steps. Now, I don't mind which leg you have in front, doesn't matter, swap them as you want, but we're gonna go sideways. Some side stepping, get confident in your footwork, going in these different directions. And time, time, time. Okay, that's round two done. We've got one round left, okay? This time, if we're standing, I want you to mix and match. Sometimes go forwards, sometimes go back, sometimes go to side, sometimes the other side. You move around, be confident with your footwork. Okay, last round in three, two, one, go, go, go. So you go forwards or backwards, side to side. You can even change direction you're facing, I don't mind. It is all good footwork. I want you to move your body, move your body as you're punching, move your feet. You can change direction and time, time, time. And the last one is left hand side. So if you're seated, grab your band, left hand side, last go. Draw that bow, hold it, relax. Now, if we're standing, left leg moves the final time. In three, two, one, off we go. Tapping forwards, tapping sideways, tapping behind us. All the while, everything we can to balance and stabilize on that supporting leg. As big a move as you can do. Again, don't compare yourself to me or anybody else. Just do the best that you can do. And there we go. Time, time, time. Well done, boys and girls. Fantastic. Have a breather. Relax off. See how that went. Hopefully, I hope, if you've been standing, if you've been working on the balance stuff, hopefully you've not fallen over. Falling is bad, okay? We don't fall. But hopefully you have been wobbling. Hopefully you have been moving around. Hopefully your upper body's been shifting side to side. Your legs have been working, shifting around. All that movement is exactly what we were after. Wobble Wednesday, we wobble. That's how we improve. We get practice at wobbling. No point practicing staying dead still because that's not realistic. That's not what we're gonna do in our lives. That's not what anyone does in their life, I hope. Staying still. Moving is what we're all about, so we practice that. And that's what we do every Wobble Wednesday. Now, tomorrow is Thinking Thursday. We're going to get our brain engaged. I'm going to ask you every single time with every single exercise to, to plan, to figure out, um, and to test, experiment. Think how you can make your movements better. We're going to get your brain involved tomorrow at 11 o'clock. In the meantime, though, don't forget, Sarah, my fingers are fire. She's got two very tough challenges coming up in throughout the entire of March, and she's raising money for Stroke Association and Royal Mars and Cancer Charity. 
uh, we'll supply links. So please, if you if you want to see Sarah suffer, yeah, that's good. If you want to see Sarah suffer, then please chuck her a buck because it's for a really good cause and she's going to work hard doing it. We'll send you all the links in the in the Facebook group. Anyway, I'm going to wander off. I'll let you crack on with the rest of your day. Thank you very much indeed. I hope you're feeling a little bit better now. Uh, if not, well, sorry, but I hope you are anyway. I'll see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Bye-bye.